Hello and welcome back to our PyQT beginner series. Today we are taking a look at the kill text edit, what it is and how we can use it in our application. This is the starter code we have been using throughout this application. If you are not familiar with it, then it means you have not watched the videos that come before this one. I will encourage you to do so. The link is in the description below. Starting from the very first video, I have explained this line of code each line into so much detail we are going to look at the text edit so let us import it at the top here test edit the test edit is just like this window that we are typing in can it provides us with such functionality so just like a notepad window where you can type your test in and all that so self dot because we create another button to show the test so let's create it as a class widget if i should say so self dot text now be equal to kill text edit do not put anything there whatever you put in here will be displayed in the text edit when we run the application but i don't want that one to happen and then we create our button also self dot btn go to kill push button we didn't import that one to so make sure and the testing here will print text make sure you import it from pyqt5.qt widget at the top there and in here we can add the widget to the layout layout but add widget we want to add the text first Duplicate the line, serve the test, and then we add the button also. When we run our code, we will see this kill test edit that we can type in, and then this print text button that we can click on. For now, that's nothing, but we want every time that we click on it to get the test from the test edit and then display it in our terminal here so let us work on that function here i will create a connection to the function that i'm about to create so connection yes it's just a comment and then so the connection will be on the button to so serve the btn that means whenever the button has been clicked we want to connect it to this particular function self dot function which has not been created but we are about to create it soon self dot function let's create this function the function function so the function is weird a little i know and here what we want to get is a current test current text should be equal to self dot text dot text should occur this one doesn't use the ordinary text um, to plain text yes it uses the to plain text that means you get whatever is in there is the line edit that uses the dot test and this q line edit uses the to plain test that will get whatever content is in the test edit and then convert it to plain text for you this one now we can print it to the terminal so print current text that is it. If I copy this part of our code, that so we paste it inside the test edit. Now let me run it. Make sure this side is wide enough. And then I paste it in here. Of course, it's able to <laughs> uh, get all the color also. It's pasting the formatted, formatted text, which is just nice to do. If I print this one, I will see that whatever test I put in here has not been printed to the terminal. If I get rid of what I brought in here, now it has uh, set the, some default properties for our line edit, making all the background of the test 
black or the same as pycharm's environment also but if i should type we'll get that one and type hello world and then print text that one will also be printed for me at my terminal the number of times i click it that's the number of times it will be printed so that is it you can instead of printing it to the terminal you can save it to a file and you want to set some configurations you want to create a small notepad application you can use this kill test edit to do that that will be all for this video. Thank you for your time and I'll see you another time with another video.